Welcome, and I will show you how to make an auto buyer bot on FIFA 21 web app using Pi Auto GUI in less than 5 minutes. Here's a quick example of the bot in action. First, we must download Python 3.7 specifically as it is compatible with OpenCV and can be found on the Python web page. Launch the installer and ensure when you download the app you select Add to Path. This is very, very important. Now we must install Visual Studio Code, a free source code editor, and once opened and set up, in the extensions tab, search for Python and ensure it is enabled and installed. You must select the reader to be Python 3.7. This can be done by pressing Ctrl Shift P and selecting Python 3.7. After selecting the reader to be Python 3.7, now we must install the relevant libraries needed to execute the file and create the bot. Thus using pip install in the terminal box, the following libraries must be installed and I will explain them later. Create a file which must end with .py and import Py to GUI and display mouse position. This will enable us to gain the X and Y coordinate of any pixel on the screen which is necessary to develop this kind of bot, as it trains the bot to know which pixel it must click on the screen. When you run this file in the terminal box, you'll see the X and Y coordinates iterate as you move your mouse. The RGB values can be ignored. By pressing Ctrl and C, you'll be able to end the program and it'll give the coordinates of the last pixel. Now create another file and import the following code shown on the screen and underneath create a time delay for the code using time.sleep as when you run this code you will need a few seconds to alt tab onto the web app. Now we must create a function to make the mouse click. Instead of using PyAutoGui here we will use Win32 API as it is much faster. Copy and paste this function in and you may edit the time to leap to make your mouse click as fast as possible. If too fast the program will misclick depending on the stability of your Wi-Fi connection. We also do not want this program to go on for infinitum. Thus, using a while loop, we can program a button on the keyboard to halt the code. This works as the program is only true if Q is not pressed. So when you press Q, the program is no longer true. By running the mouse position file, we can now begin to determine where we want the mouse to click. This will be different for everyone, so do not worry if your values do not match mine. We're going to need the coordinates for every pixel we want our bot to click. To begin, on the web app, we must first click the search button, thus finding the coordinates and make a note of it using hashtags. Then we must click buy, click ok, click send to trade pile, then we must click back, decrease the minimum bid cost, research, rebuy, press ok, send to the trade pile and now increase the cost, ending the code here. You must execute the code like this, as in order for the page to refresh, you have to continuously increase and decrease the minimum bid price. This will make the code work. I will here demonstrate a visual representation of where we must click. Demonstrating the key difference that the first set of clicks will increase the bid price and the second set will decrease the bid price. This loop of clicks will carry on at infinitum. In this clip we can see the pixels that must be clicked by the bot. For each of these buttons we want click, we require the x and y coordinates as mentioned before. To do this, run the position code and press Ctrl C over any pixel on the web app to get the pixels positional reading. We are on to the final step, programming the clicks. By entering a click with X and Y coordinates of each pixel noted before, the bot will click on the exact pixel. But we must add time delays as it takes a specific amount of time for the web searches to load once you have clicked the search button. This will depend on your Wi-Fi connection, but it's completely necessary to implement these or else your bot will misclick. There is also a time delay needed to adjust the price as there is an injector in place on the web app that will block it from being adjusted too fast. I strongly recommend adjusting these time delay values for your computer as they will not match mine. Upon testing I've documented that every day different values can be used. Last, I don't condone the use of botting. This was merely a project I set up for fun. I wish to show everyone the power of botting and help spread the love of coding. Do not bot. This is just a project and for education. I'm sure this video will open up a lot of minds in the power of auto GUI. If you get banned, please don't comment on my video. This was a project you decided to take. And uh, yeah, it's just for a bit of fun. Anyway, enjoy.